Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. You know, the American Association for the Advancement of Science is one of the largest scientific organizations in the world. And this year, their theme was diversity. It's in our DNA. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's such a great theme, but it's not reflected in their publication. For instance, this one, Science Magazine. The headline reads, a choice of futures. Humanity can still avert a climate catastrophe. Well, it's now 2023, and this was published in June of 2022. And in the summer of 2021, the IPCC AR6 report came out. And in the Physical Sciences report, the actually uh, reduced the threat of any future catastrophe. Roger PLK Jr reviewed the document and he said that it's actually really good news that the catastrophic future that the IPCC foretold for humanity in 2013 is no longer deemed to be likely. So that's fantastic, but somehow that news has not caught up with one of the world's largest scientific organizations. And you might say, well, how come there's such a big change? Like, how can that be? Well, the reason is that this set of scenarios known as representative concentration pathways have been incorrectly used as if predictive of our future when they're not. These were designed for research purposes only, but people started using them as if this is a pathway to reaching certain climate targets. And Roger PLK Jr. and his research partner, Justin Ritchie, found that all of the catastrophic stories that you hear about climate are related to this scenario known as RCP 8.5. But this is an implausible scenario. Um, and so is RCP 8, uh, 6. So if you take these two off the chart, and then if you find out where we really are, which is about here, then you realize, hey, wait a minute, we're not in trouble. We don't have to worry. There's no climate emergency. And you'd think that the American Association for the Advancement of Science would be all over that. You think that people would be very happy. Think of all the children who wouldn't have to worry anymore about the end of the world. All the kids who think they only have seven or six years left. Well, kids, you've got a whole life ahead of you. You don't have to worry. The climate emergency is over because we're not using RCP 8.5 anymore as if business as usual, because it's not. And in fact, we're not using RCP 6 either. So go ahead and have a great life and maybe drop a line to Science Magazine and ask them when they're going to cover this good news on climate change and ask them about their diversity um, commitment here. When are they going to interview Dr. Hus Burkhut of Clintel? Clintel is the climate intelligence network out of Holland and there's more than 1400 scholars and scientists who say there's no climate emergency. We do have time. That should be headline news. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.